Hi, everybody, and thanks for watching Outdoors Delmarva. I'm Mike Parker. And I'm Captain Willie Dykes, and we're taking the show on the road this week as we shine the spotlight on that seaside playground known as Ocean City, Maryland. What a place. Yeah, Willie, obviously you grew up here in Worcester County, so right, you already know that fall is a special time of year around this town. I mean, look around. The beach crowds are gone. The temperature has cooled down, but those opportunities for getting outdoors are as hot as ever this time of year. And that includes the fishing. Take a look. Call it a local secret or just call it the truth, but fall fishing around Ocean City, Maryland is special. Just ask a guy who makes his living chartering trips out here, Captain Jason Mumford. Uh, you get a lot of more of the migratory fish starting to show up, like your rockfish, um, your speckled trout, and you get a lot of your fish that have been here um, all summer. They're all staging here by the inlet to get ready to make their migration down to the south. On an otherwise quiet Friday afternoon, the crew of anglers aboard the Lucky Break is chomping at the bit as we anchor up near the rocks separating inlet and ocean. We're using live sand fleas. Um, just a little, you know, like the, like the kids dig up on the beach. That's what we're using. Now the target species right here is Tawdog, or Tog for short, and they're an Ocean City constant, biting nearly year-round in these waters, and always a challenging catch. After adjusting to the current and trying out a few spots up and down the line, we're finally settling in as the youngest angler aboard is also the first to hook up. Fish on. Now this first tog of the trip is just under the 14-inch minimum for a keeper. A little shot, 13 and a half. But it's a start, and as Captain Mumford proves, it'll be just the first of five species we'll eventually catch on this short trip. The second, an eastern shore icon, the rockfish. Not quite a keeper, this rock is getting a return trip home. Call it a lucky break of its own. But our action continues, albeit what fishermen consider a double-edged sword. Sure, these puffers mark our third species so far, but while fun to play with, they're also starting to eat up our bait. Same goes for this lone sea bass of the trip, unimpressive in size, but representing our fourth different species so far. 16 inches. Keeper. With both rod and camera in hand, it seems my own luck is starting to show, and just in time when in a span of minutes, I deliver three tog to the boat, back to back to back, Alrighty. including two keepers, both ready for the cooler. There you go, Mike, you're limited out. Now you're official video, man. <laughs> As my fellow anglers add another tog, Captain Mumford is now keeping a close eye off in the distance, too. For those who know, the swarm of birds gathered in the distance could be a sure sign that a school of feisty bluefish are feeding on baitfish on the surface. And the opportunistic goals? trying to eat up the surfacing leftover scraps. But as we approach, it's evident that there's no big blues in this school, and we decide to move our efforts slightly northwest, back to the inland bay in the shadow of the Route 50 bridge. And it pays off. With about a half hour left till dusk, the guys have located some blues. Not big, but these snappers are arriving in numbers. That's what they're eating, that's what we're trying to imitate. And with some quick casting on our slow drift approach, we're proving these ocean city waters are plentiful with yet another species. Fun to catch and flapping with energy all the way to the boat. A little bit better. Calm down, buddy. As we head back to the docks, a bayside sunset will round out an adventure marking a perfect fall evening that makes ocean city an angler's playground. Get outdoors, Delmarva. Mike, it looks like you had a great time out there. But this time of year, you don't even need a boat to have a good time fishing. Yeah, Willie, fall is prime time for surf fishing right off the beach here in Ocean City. All you need is a valid fishing license, and they ask that you stay for safety's sake about 50 feet away or so from anybody else who might be enjoying the beach here at the same time. But again, this time of year shouldn't be a problem. 